Hi, I'm Sherry Henley, and this is Sharing with Sherry. Thank you for taking time to listen to this video. Today the topic is, how does a leader look? We have a few things that I would like to go over with you. Number one, a leader operates with integrity. What is integrity? Integrity is wholeness. Well, that doesn't say a lot. So I like to say, speaking the truth in love. So if you approach someone and you say, you know, I just can't believe you did that. Or, you know, I'd like to have an opportunity to speak with you because there's a situation that I'd like to address. I know that you may not have meant to come across this way. However, this is how it came across. And would you help me understand this? These are ways that you can speak the truth in love. Walking in integrity is more than just speaking the truth in love. It's also living the truth. Being who you are. Not trying to be someone else or a copy. Be an original. Do the very best you can at what you do. What you have been made to do. What your passion is. What your gift is. Allow your gifts to shine from the inside. That is what a leader looks like. Next is commitment. A leader is committed to do what they say they're going to do. If for some reason you say you're going to do something and you cannot do it, that's where the next C comes in, which is communication. So if you are delayed, that does not mean that necessarily you have denied that commitment, but that means that you've been delayed on the commitment. So what do you do? You communicate with the person or the entity that you have made that agreement with, and you let them know, I'm still here, I'm touching base, I haven't fallen off the face of the earth, I still care about you, I still care about what I told you I would do, and I am keeping my agreement. That is very important. To be a leader, you must operate with integrity, with commitment, with communication. Now, how can you communicate? There's several different ways. I would say there's no excuse for not communicating in today's world. We have smartphones. We have text messaging. We have video. We have Skype. We have Facebook. We have businessovercoffee.biz. We have many social media platforms where you can communicate. We have email. And guess what? We still have the old-fashioned telephone. Not to mention text messaging. Here's a tip. If you have a very important meeting to go to and your child is very ill, there's no one to watch your child but yourself. Obviously, your family takes precedent over that very important meeting. Instead of sending a text message to notify the person that you will not be there, you pick up the phone and you call. That would be your first move, not an email, not a text message. If you do not reach them, you leave a message, then you email, then you text. You make sure you cover all the bases in the communication process. And you also apologize that you were unable to keep your commitment. However, here's a scenario. I have placed a call to one of our members who will be able to fill the gap for where I was supposed to be. So now you've covered the bases, you've made sure that your absence is going to be covered, and you've communicated. Those are the signs of a true leader and reflects what a leader looks like. Next is collaboration. So as a leader, rather than feeling threatened by another leader, we embrace one another and I find the good in you and you find the good in me and we complement one another which also translates to collaboration. So we collaborate for the betterment of all. Therefore, it is a win-win situation. This is what will get you far in life, is 
working with people instead of flowing against the tide because there is no ebb and flow that way. So make sure that you embrace and collaborate as a leader. All of these things that I've talked about in this short Sharing with Sherry Part 1, this would be our very first Sharing with Sherry. How to be, or I'm sorry, how does a leader look? And all of the things that I've talked about have been integrity, commitment, communication, collaboration, which all leads to the last C, which is character. Your character is the most important thing that you own. You must own your character. Make sure that you are morally sound, that you are intellectually sound, that you are informed. You definitely want to answer a question as an informant. You do not want to be uninformed. If you do not know an answer to a question, then you say, I haven't yet learned the answer to that question, but I will find out and get back with you. So make sure that when you speak the truth, that you speak the truth in love, as a recap, integrity base. Shelly Bauer, you need to Look, look her up. She's excellent. I got that right there from her. Integrity Based Communications. ShellyBauer.com Next is commitment. Number three is communication. Number four is collaboration. And number five is character. With those five things, which I just put up ten. So with those five things in your life, taking precedence over the other things in your life, you will become, if you are not already, a leader. You will be a reflection of a leader. You will be someone that other people can look to and model. You will become a mentor to those who are following you because a leader has followers. A follower is not a leader. However, I will say that in order to be a leader, you must first become a follower. So you learn how to follow a leader first and then you rise up. The cream rises to the top and you become a leader. Let me ask you this question. Do you look like a leader? Go look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself that question. Do I, Sherry Henley, look like a leader today? Every day is a new day. So if the answer is no, you can correct that today. If the answer is yes, continue to do what you're doing. Until the next time, remember that I enjoy sharing with you. I encourage you to write to me at connect at businessovercoffee.biz. Share with me your story of how you became a leader. I would like to know. Until we meet again, be blessed. Sherry Henley, sherryhenley.com.